Welcome back to Rob's Squads, guys. In today's video, we're going to be talking all about the 300 gallon tank. And if you guys notice behind me, there's already a lot of stuff going on. I've got a lot to update you guys on. But before we get into the video, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. Let's get right into the video. So I've been putting in a lot of work on the down low, and I actually assembled the entire sump in a video that I didn't end up uploading because it was just a poor video. I was in a really bad mood. <laughs> It's just like not trying to commentate or do any of that and since then I've just been working on it on my own because I've been getting like nicks and scrapes the whole way you know just getting pissed off honestly but now I've decided to update you guys since I'm at this point so a couple days ago I went to Home Depot got this filter sand I only put four bags in here and it seemed to fill out the 300 so we're looking good and on top of that I've also started the plumbing for the 300 gallon tank so as of right now we've got the fittings here so this is one of the overflows that's one of the returns another overflow and another return right down here luckily you can kind of see what's happening right there and basically the game plan is I'm going to leave that there like that for now well for the time being while I actually water test the 300 gallon again just to make sure because once I throw this 120 gallon sump back under there we're going to go over what's in the sump right now as well but before I put it back under the tank I wanted to just make sure there was no leaking so actually before I pick the camera up I actually threw some water in here. You guys probably won't be able to see the water at all. But so far, neither of the overflows have leaked, which is perfect because that was the only problem I had initially from the jump with the 300 gallon. There were leaks in the bulkheads with the uh, overflows because the overflows don't actually seal off the tank. There's uh, spots where the water actually flows through into the overflow, even when it's below that. So that is good. The only pieces of material I need left to actually get this tank running right now are the dual lock returns for both overflows and all also, I need to get and possibly another return pump. I might have one from the reef tank that I actually scrapped because on the reef tank, guys, I completely switched around pumps. I changed them both out, which has been giving me some problems, but also is overall a better idea. So the 300 gallon tank, guys, the 300 gallon aquarium is coming along very nicely. I'm going to wait until I actually have it running to start adding all the driftwood and stuff. This is getting a water change tonight, so it's not going to get much dirtier than this because, as you guys know, the bacteria love to eat all the mold and stuff but all this driftwood is going in there and I was thinking about it watching the way these fish interact in this tank and just my fish in general there's gonna be big fish in here guys like I'm not skimping out we're going to be putting all the fish from the 150 gallon so literally all of these fish right here are going into that tank Tigger gets so excited when he sees me he's been doing incredibly well and on top of all of those fish guys, we're also going to be throwing all the fish in the 75 gallon driftwood tank. So that means we need a lot of space for them to swim around it because on top of that, I'm also going to be getting some other fish on top of that. So we're going to be having roughly 20 fish in this tank. Some of them are gonna be bigger. Definitely subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss when we get them because it'll be a whole process of growing out those new fish. But now that we got over like basically the plans of the 300 gallon tank itself, I'll show you what we did to the sump. So the sump's intended use was to go like this so I wanted the returns to come in here go down here blocked off water the only way for water to pass through is through this opening right here and then from there I wanted it to build and climb go over this egg crate right here where it's blocked off you could see the seam right here I wanted that to happen but what ended up happening is we didn't get a good enough seal on the sump itself on the baffle so water just goes down and just flows through freely but what that means is guys I'm not gonna take it down the sump the whole way I'm not gonna rebuild it just to remedy that because honestly I just want the water volume that's really it. It's gonna work the same other way. I'm going to have the FX6 on it most likely as well. So it'll be the sump and the FX6. Lots of flow are going is going to be going through this tank because I plan on doubling up on these return pumps. So these are 6,500 liters, which is roughly about 2,000 gallons per hour, a little bit more. This one was pulled off of my reef tank and I was gonna use my actual water change pump for that as well. But I think we're going to keep that one to the side and I'll just get a new one because I really want to be able to do faster water changes so that's the plan for that we're gonna have very very high turnover super high turnover and then the fx6 will be on this middle compartment and the with the way the filtration is gonna work where i goofed was over here guys so i used a 3 by 10 on this middle brace just because for some more structural integrity so this return i don't know if it's going to be able to make it all the way across to this side so we're going to have it in here and then i could use this space to isolate any fish that get into problems be like with 
with the green Severum when he got into got into it with the other Severum. I had to pull him out of the tank, throw him in here. So regardless, we'll have a backup for aggression and also just space for just whatever comes up, we'll be ready. Like no problems. I won't have to worry about doing anything in any of the other tanks. It'll all be good. So that's where we're at. We got a ton of these media pure bio blocks, whatever they're called, bio cubes. We got foam, bio balls, K3 called this. Just I just used whatever I had that carries a lot of surface area and threw it in here. That's basically what we're doing. And once I get the plumbing situated, the, before I get the plumbing situated, actually, I have to get the pump I want to use right here. I just need to get that out of the way. Then I need to get this back under here. It slides in nearly perfectly. And then I got to throw the pumps in. Bada bing, bada boom. Finish the plumbing. The plumbing is going to be super easy. All I've got left to do are use uh, these 90s and, you know, some 45s. And that's literally it. And then from there, we'll get the 300 gallon running. After that, it, I wanted to run good, like, problems. No problem with just the sand for like a week because the sand's gonna take some time to clear out and then after we scape it it's gonna take time to clear out so I don't want any fish in there for that process now that all of that is out of the way guys I'm going to get this sump back under the tank and we're going to finish the plumbing on the 300 gallon tank and then we'll check in we'll probably do a water test we'll check out the sump see how it performs see how this uh, overflow performs all that because as of right now the 300 gallon tank holding water should be very soon I might use recycled water from all the other tanks during the water chain to do that just so I don't waste nearly 400 gallons of water but I'll catch you guys when we actually start plumbing this beast so you might be wondering how we're actually going to be lighting this 300 gallon tank and I was contemplating like using shop lights or something like that like I used to use for like the rest of my tanks you know we use shop lights generally but the 300 gallon when I bought it if you guys remember way back like six eight maybe even nine months ago we got these lights so I was originally going to set it up as a reef tank so I've got the radion mounts and then we also have the radion lights in here I'll show you guys because a lot of you guys are freshwater fish keepers you don't actually ever see these these things are absolute behemoths and very very powerful lights look at the control box but the thing is despite I don't know if they'll have as much power if I'm running just white so like let's say I just run all white I don't even need to have it at full power it might still blow out the entire tank and look crazy so I think we're gonna use the radions I got to set up the rail so I'll set up the rail and I'll also show you guys the plumbing because I did figure out the plumbing situation for this tank and I was actually able to set it up in a way where we do get to tie it in with the other side it's gonna be a little bit of a delay because you know after it comes down it's gonna actually have to build back up to rise back over but over here guys I'm gonna throw a T in this so that I can connect these two overflow and then it'll all fall down to the center point so I'm gonna get the rail set up like put together all that good stuff I'm not gonna put it over the tank yet because I don't want to risk dropping the lights into the tank I will probably put the lights on the rail after we actually get the light or the tank drain down after we test it out all right so i've got all the radions on the rail i've got the mounts i don't know how this will go i'm gonna basically just try to throw it up there and hope for the best i color coded it or i just actually just coded it with tape so each light has tape on the mount so i know which one connects to which um, i'm gonna get these away out of the way because there's a lot of cords laying around i don't want to get tripped but i'm gonna throw this on a 300 gallon and we'll see how it looks all right that kind of looks insane but i got all three of the lights up everything's fixed i did a little bit of duct tape just to make sure it's uh, you know seated right and I'm probably gonna run those last two cords over the top of the rail and then over here is where all the power is gonna be we got it plugged in right here and then all of the cords actually reach over so there won't be much weight on the rail at all so we'll get this done uh, fill it up plug it all back in make sure everything's how it should be and then I'll turn off all the lights and we'll fire it up hey look at that all right so now I'm gonna troubleshoot, see why the middle one isn't on, and I'll get the other two to whites, and then I'll show you guys the final result. Guys, it is beautiful. All right, so they're not on full bowl, like full pour right now. So what I'm gonna do is, guys, I'm gonna show you what they look like right now, put you guys back up, turn them up, and we'll see what they look like, guys. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So this is the 300 gallon tank, guys. The whites aren't completely on. There's no flow. So it should look better once it's actually running. But this is, dude, this thing is crazy. Look at this thing. That is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to set you guys up and we're going to see if we can't get the lights on more powerful. I noticed they actually are all synced up already. So I probably won't even set up the Mobius uh, router. And yeah, that's incredible. All right, so I got you guys set up right here. So I'm going to run up here. Press the up button. There's only three buttons on these. They're older generation radion. They're all flashing away. Oh, switchy. So this is the off setting. 
That's full blue under the radion. This is what the full blue looks like. And then maybe I will have to set up the router. Or not. Jeez, bro. Look at that. God, that is beautiful. Look at this, guys. Isn't that crazy? I cannot wait to get this tank up and running. All right, guys. So the 300 gallon has been holding water. Everything is plumbed. Everything's ready to go. All we have to do is plug it in and see if it runs. So I'm gonna put you guys down and I'm gonna turn it on. I unplugged the Radeon because I don't know uh, whether or not it'll create a power surge or anything. I just wanna make sure you know the tank runs on its own without the lights first and then we'll address power if that is an issue. But for now, I'll throw you guys down. All right, now is this big moment. I'm plugging this in. All right, we're off the race. So right now, here's where the water's level at. But this drain is going down. And right here, guys, you can see we've got some water. Now, I gotta see when this one will kick in, but that's my exact concern right here. I don't know how much weight that'll throw off. I don't know if it'll literally pull it out. It's PVC glued, so it shouldn't. Oh, you can hear it roll. Oh, uh, <laughs> look at that. Look at that. So as of right now, it's all running. I'm gonna unplug this one pump, because I'll show you the problem. This hose is pinched right here. It will never be able. Oh wait, hold on. Let me see if I can turn up the power. Oh, we can overpower that. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> yo. All right, I'm gonna turn both pumps full power. Let's see, see how fast the water's draining right now? So the 300 gallon tank is completely running right now, guys. This is what it's looking like. This is crazy. So I'm gonna let it run for a little bit longer and I'll give you guys an update on how it goes. But right now it is completely running. So we'll just keep, let it will be so quiet once we get the lid on and figure out the overflows precisely but right now it's running full bore and i'm extremely extremely stoked i can't complain i really can't complain all right guys so just for fun i started playing around with the radions turning them on and this looks hilarious this looks so cool look at that now i should probably move one around just to get more surface agitation but the sump everything is running perfectly fine i'll show you guys what it looks like on the white spectrum now wow look at that guys so this is one of the white settings i've still got to set up the app but dude this thing is gorgeous look at this thing this thing is beautiful this thing is incredible guys so if you want to see updates you want to see the scape you want to see the stocking of this tank subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications and like the video because this thing is incredible i hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in the next one deuces